Oftentimes, we're going to want to simplify math expressions by doing or performing math operations. A single expression could contain many operations. For example, consider the expression below, 6 divided by 3, in parentheses, plus 4 times 2, which is also in parentheses. In this expression, we have division, addition, and multiplication. One by one, we're going to want to do the operations and get this expression down to a single number if possible. And so our goal is going to be to transform complicated, unsimplified expressions to their most concise, simplified forms. The language of math is powerful and flexible enough that it allows us to express how we want operations to be performed just by what we write. For example, let's say there's a half-off sale at two different department stores, and the items you wish to purchase would normally sell for $100 plus tax. However, the stores are going to calculate the half-off sale in different ways. Store A will add $8 of tax to your $100 bill and then divide that total by 2. But Store B decides to divide your $100 bill in half and then add the $8 of sales tax. We want the way we write the expression to convey to a reader how the operations should be performed and in what order. This may require parentheses and the correct placement of the numbers and operation symbols. Try to write what store A is doing mathematically and also try to write what store B is doing mathematically. So store A wants to add the $8 to 100. And then they want to divide that total by 2. Store B wants to divide the total by 2 and then add 8. But is anything missing here? Well, the problem right now is that both of these expressions actually would yield the same result. That's because of the order of operations agreement that mathematicians have. Mathematicians have decided that whenever addition and division are uh, in an expression, the division would be done first. Uh, so in both these cases, we would divide the 100 by 2 and then later add the 8. But that's not what we actually want for store A. We want store A to get that sum first and then divide. So what we're going to need here are parentheses. Now, which store is the better deal? Let's go ahead and perform these operations. Now that the parentheses are around the 8 and the 100, we would add them first. So we'll get 108, and now we can divide by 2, which gives us $54. Now, when it comes to store B, they're going to divide the 102 right away, and then add 8. And that's actually what this expression says. Division takes precedence over addition, so we'll do the 100 divided by 2 first. That'll give us 50, and then we'll add 8. So it's 54 at store A and 58 at store B. So which one's the better deal? Store A is cheaper. So order of operations matters. But there's no particular reason why the operation of multiplication or division is more important than addition or subtraction. The order that the store performs operations in is simply based on the policy of the store. But the way we choose to write our expressions has to convey the order of operations established by each store.